Do not forget, you can support the channel with a like and you can also subscribe to be aware of the latest published videos. Thank you. We hope that here you can find the latest news, ideas and discoveries from the scientific world. 300, 000 yo hand axes, tombs and rock art discovered in Oman. In the deserts of Oman, two teams of scientists have made remarkable discoveries that shed new light on the earliest history of human civilization. From rare hand axes dating back to the first waves of human migration out of Africa to circular burial chambers and a collection of rock engravings, these findings offer a glimpse into the formation of contemporary society in southern Arabia. More than 20 archaeologists and geologists from 10 countries, led by the Institute of Archaeology of the CAS in Prague, have completed their third consecutive season excavating two archaeological sites in Oman. The excavators found a collection of rare hand axes dating to the first waves of human migration out of Africa, circular burial chambers, and a collection of rock engravings. It is thought these finds, which were made in the world's largest sand desert, will contribute to the understanding of the earliest history of what is today Oman. Digging and Tweeting A report in ABCR says last year's work at two different sites in Oman represented the third excavation season in a row. This research is part of a greater archaeological project being led by Victor Cerny, an evolutionary anthropologist from the Institute of Archaeology in Prague, which focuses on biocultural interactions of populations and their adaptation to climate change. One team excavated in the Defar Governorate, in the south of Oman, while the second group operated in the Duke province, in central Oman. And broadcasting their work to the world, the two teams of researchers shared their findings on the at Arjuk underscore Arabia Twitter account. Tools from the first African migration waves. The Rub al Khali Desert, in Oman's Defar province, is known as the Empty Quarter. This sparsely populated region represents the largest contiguous sand desert in the world, spanning over 250,000 square miles in the Arabian Peninsula. Among sand dunes towering as high as 300 meters, 984 feet, the archaeologists also found a fossilized dune, and an old riverbed from a period when the climate in Arabia was significantly wetter. At this location, not only did the team of archaeologists discover eggshells from an extinct ostrich species, but they also unearthed a collection of stone hand axes. Dating later determined that these tools were made and used by some of the first humans to have migrated out of Africa, some 300,000 years ago. Applying Nuclear Physics on Stone Age Artifacts Expedition leader, Roman Garba, from the Institute of Archaeology of the CAS in Prague, told Live Science that these findings are hoped to provide valuable data for reconstructing ancient climates in the world's largest sand desert. Furthermore, by understanding the natural conditions that shaped prehistoric settlements, the researchers will achieve a better idea human adaptability to climate change, which conforms with the goals set out by Professor Victor Cerny. Garba explained that nuclear physics is being applied to this research project to help date the age of the finds. Garba said the Nuclear Physics Institute of the CAS have carried out radiocarbon dating and cosmogenic radionuclide dating on the finds, using the first accelerator mass spectrometer in the Czech Republic. Cosmogenic radionuclide dating is used to estimate the age of geological materials by measuring the concentration of isotopes created by cosmic rays. This method can accurately date rocks, and sediments on the Earth's surface, and is used to assess historic changes in climate and tectonics. Radiocarbon dating, and spatiotemporal analysis, help the researchers learn more about ritual stone monuments, known as triliths, that are found across southern Arabia. Dating to about 2,000 years ago, Garba likened these circular burial structures to a smaller-scale version of England's better-known Stonehenge. However, currently, it is not clear who built them, and what they were used for. Furthermore, Garba says nobody is sure what is hidden beneath these burial chambers. The unique findings of Team 2. The second expedition team focused their work on a Neolithic tomb at the Nafun site, near the town of Ibri, in the Duke province of central Oman, along the Arabian Sea. Constructed between 5000 to 4600 BC this site contained the remains of a large, 
fortified settlement that dates back to the 3rd millennium BC, that later became an important trading center during the Bronze Age. Professor Alžbeta Daniela Sava, from the Institute of Archaeology in Prague, said the second team identified a megalithic structure concealing two circular burial chambers, in which the skeletal remains of several dozen individuals were recovered. Daniela Sava thinks isotopic analyses of bones, teeth, and shells, will inform about the diet, natural environment, and migrations of the buried population. The researcher described these discoveries as unique in the context of the whole of Southern Arabia. Striving for a pictorial record Not far from the 7,000-year-old circular tomb, Team 2 also investigated stone tool production sites dating to the late Stone Age, including a collection of rock engravings. Also described as unique, the scientists found over 49 rock blocks of different styles and varying degrees of weathering which provide a pictorial record of life at this site, between 5000 BC to 1000 AD. Victor Cerny from the Institute of Archaeology in Prague, said the detected interactions of African and Arab archaeological cultures characterize the mobility of populations of anatomically modern humans. He added that the results of these two excavations will now be compared with the genetic diversity of the two regions. It is hoped this comparison will then lead to a more comprehensive view of the formation of contemporary society in southern Arabia, explained Cerny.